For 25 years, the St. Augustine Carousel brought joy to countless families, many of whom enjoyed their last ride on it in September before it was moved back to Port Charlotte as part of its owner's dying wish. To one local father, that carousel meant much more than just a ride in a park. It meant a connection between life and death. Our Shelby Danielson brings us his story, all new tonight, only on First Coast News. I hope to see another carousel there. I would have felt better if they had took the fence down. Empty benches surrounded by overgrown grass, cement blocks enclosed by a fence, and an old entrance now roped off and blocked by recycling cans. This is what replaces the old St. Augustine carousel at this busy street corner in Davenport Park. For Steve Mock, <clears throat> it remains hallowed ground. Because it's a bigger reminder what used to be there. Not just what used to be there, but who? Now, it's just a big empty hole to me. And that, sorry, but that's what it means to me. He has a special photo of his daughter, 28-year-old Jessica Mock, on that carousel from 2015. She's with her daughter. It's the last picture he has of her. Tell me about what happened to your daughter. <clears throat> she was on her way to work one morning and she was dropping her boyfriend off, Derek, and the baby at his parents' house. And he brought the baby in the house and came out with a handgun and she didn't see it. She would have had her head down texting and he put it right here and pulled the trigger. Her boyfriend, Derek Lewis, then got into the passenger seat of the car and pulled the trigger on himself. I fell to my knees screaming and distraught and then I stood up and didn't believe it and said, no, she's fine. She'll text me later or call me later. And she never did. His daughter had been dating Lewis for three years. They had an eight month old baby girl together named Mariana. It was the changing of my life. She was, she was my dream. Crime scene photos from the Putnam County Sheriff's Office show a bullet hole through the front windshield because Lewis had climbed in the back first to shoot from behind. Other photos show evidence markers in the front and their daughter's belongings in the back. Forgiveness is the biggest thing. I don't think he was in the right frame of mind when he did it. The moving of the carousel is what moved Mock to speak out now to warn other parents that domestic violence often wears a mask. Don't wait for a sign. He says, trust your gut. Do the work of finding out what's going on with them because you can ask them questions all day long. They're not going to give you the honest truth because it's either they're protecting you or they're hiding something. Since his daughter was cremated, Mock says he doesn't have a gravesite to bring flowers. He hopes a new carousel someday could be that place he could go. Sorry. I just miss her and yeah, it would mean a lot to me. If I had the money, I would replace it, you know? Not just to mourn, but to bring his grandkids and find joy here again. And take a lot of pictures. <laughs> In St. Augustine, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.